New day at uh, the BB BB British Adam what? It's just starting just fine. <laughs> British Booty Guitar Festival. British As it says behind you on the wall. BB Festival. Um, wow. I had a coffee, but apparently didn't do a thing. So this is going to be a great day of six videos, five videos, I don't know, um, of me stammering through it. And we're starting uh, with DC guitars. Duncan Cruttenden. Correct. Duncan Cruttenden guitars. I mean, if, if that's not a cool name, I don't know what <laughs> is. Okay, no one else in the world has a cool name. like Duncan is already pretty damn cool, but then Cruttenden, it, it just... Mm, Close my eyes and I see just like the toughest guy in the world. Right. But then, but then I see you and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> referring to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you make these um, not so heavy and brutal guitars. These are beautiful hollow body parlor pavilion things. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the range is called the pavilion and parlor. Um, the two um, models um, designed to date um, are both uh, semi hollow. Um, so there's the um, there's the flat top pavilion parlor, um, and then the carved um, pavilion parlor uh, royale. Um, As we can see, somehow that it's got a nice carve on it. Yeah, um, yeah. and it's carved inside and and out. Um, so it's a five mil metal okay. cap all the way across. And an absolutely super gorgeous color. It's not all the way red. It's red with the tiniest bit of purple infused um beautiful beautiful flame on it oh my god look at this i love that you didn't go for f holes but duncan cruttenden holes yeah the the inspiration for those was actually elephant tusks um, okay so yeah it's just um felt that the shape just kind of worked uh, quite nicely with the because i'm thinking f holes are always to me look very antiquated it's like it's nice on a stradivari but i mean why do we have to have these on our es's and all that stuff i mean come up with a new hole people yeah don't just do the old <laughs> hole do the new hole there are whole alternatives i've been told <laughs> <laughs> Um, bridge is it's Tone Pro. Tone Pro. Yeah, that's a professional from the Tone people. We got Goto. You said, yeah, Goto locking tuners. Top locking, really yep. nice. Um, we have a beautiful guitar tit right here, or also some people might call it a volute. I don't know who does. Um, five piece neck. Technically, it might even be more because yeah. I see a red line yes. and a maple line. Yeah, so there's red. There's red maple. Red stained maple and then maple and then a Zirakoti string. Is that what half a mil of veneer or something? Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculously thin. I've never heard. Um, nobody ever told me that. So beautiful two piece mahogany. Yep. Mahogany neck. All the ingredients of a good guitar. Pickups by who? Bare knuckle. So they're bare I've, heard, I've heard they're good. Bare knuckle stormy Mondays in both of these instruments, actually. So. Yeah. You're throwing all the good words at me. Stormy Mondays. I mean, come on. <laughs> Cruttenden, Stormy Mondays. This is the day of the good words. Um, not coming from me. So we got volume tone. We got push, pull for single coilies. Yeah, to, to split. Yeah. Three way. Um, and that's a deluxe reverb from the UA Dream with a bit of reverb from the Golden Reverberado. Someone tell me what that chord is. I know it's an A minor flat nine, A minor seven flat nine. Flat nine party. Write a song with that and send it to me. D there, sorry. Beautiful playability, nice round neck. We just said a lot of the British necks seem to be angular. Uh, no idea why. 
the visuals come out of the speaker. It's open, it's airy. This is not your modern gent guitar. It's very likely your... That's too much, it's too much. We're going to the AC30 here, but on the normal channel and we're pushing it a little bit. It's too much. I'm getting there. Hold your horses. Persuaded a bit to do its thing. Um, okay, we're gonna go in the middle. This is kind of the game that I would do with this guitar. We're gonna do a lot more inappropriately, obviously, but that's where I would find that this is at home. So we're. <laughs> we're gonna compress it a bit. <laughs> and open so we're gonna check a lead gonna go into the Woodrow gonna turn the lazies on and the 1987 on 11 because we want to It's not pushing the amp a lot. It's not pushing the overdrive a lot. Like I would usually at this point go, depend. Doesn't matter what guitar I have, drop D and try to be brutal with it. But I don't think it wants to go there. Adam, should we still do it? I'll do it if you don't. Because I have a feeling when I went to the to the bridge pickup, that usual uh, wasn't there. Which you don't want that with a guitar. You don't want to go uh, anything. You want to be subtle. You want to be the blues lawyer dad guy. <laughs> I mean, but that's, that's a good sound. So, but of course we're going to do it. We're going to for, go for this into the mid hollow dream, no reverb. And we're going to kick everything in. Again, 
with this thing, you're going to have to actually give it high gain from somewhere else because it itself doesn't want to go there. It's it's subtle, which I mean, look, it's what it's supposed to do, right? It, you <laughs> didn't build this for the modern gent player, did you? <laughs> we have other guitars out there that might do that. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to crank shit up here. Can you do it? Yes. Should you? It's a very different guitar if you want to do that. This does really, really, really nice and subtle. Oh, this, this could be cool. We'll do this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I? Where's this? Oh. <laughs> Why is this driving? Why is this driving? Where? Fucking John Mayer. He will do the thumb over here. I can't even do thumb across the fretboard at all. Like I'm learning. But I'm, I, I don't have those fingers. No idea why we now have this overdrive going on, because we technically shouldn't. It must be the pedal. I have no idea what's going on. What the? But I Okay, don't have to understand that. Okay, I'll cut all that stuff out. Too much. Um, let's uh, let's plug her in and see how she's different. So we are at you told me three thousand pounds for this. Yep, which is more than fair for what I just played and saw. And this is two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, because it's flatter. Nice barrel jack there. I like that. This is clearly more lawyer's furniture in the living room kind of a idea. Yeah, English. It's English walnut. That's what I was trying to say. Um, thick ass top on it. Yeah, absolutely. And does the top have a lower veneer? It does. Yes, which you can see around the outside of, ah. the, of the instrument. So this one's got full spinding on it. Um, this one's uh, got a veneer. Um, both. Force binding sounds so sad, so <laughs> not good because it's. But I I love it way more than the stupid plastic. Yeah, yeah. So, so faux binding's probably a nicer. Term. Yes, that sounds um, more hoity-toity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these knobs have kind of sunk into the guitar quite a bit. Yeah. So um, this was a request from the customer to have a thicker cap and then recess okay. the recess the. Um, and we got a thicker um, neck on it. Yeah. Uh, also, volute everything the same. You told us something about the headstock design. Yeah. So um, the reason that they're called the Pavilion Parlour um, is because I was born in Brighton, um, which is home to the Royal Pavilion. Um, but I now um, live and operate the business out of Bex Hill, which has the Delaware Pavilion, um, which is a um, 1935 contemporary building that's now a music and arts venue. Um, so they're called pavilion parlours. Um, the headstock shape is actually the roof of the Royal Pavilion in Brighton. Um, so that's the yeah, story some, behind the name. history there. Still the AC30. Let's go to the deluxe. It's 
it's rounder and warmer, it's woolier than the other one. This is very open. This is also open, but it's got some wool to it, kind of like sheep do. Really wonder what happens if people come here and have paid for the show to make videos with us, but they actually have never seen my channel. And then I say stuff like this, and they're probably thinking, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I mean, just, just pointing that out. a very different guitar tonally um more a little bit more closed up but thicker thicker mm -hmm. sound um very nice and absolutely that's you okay good me is over there <laughs> Look, people get phone calls that happens um i mean 2500 pounds i don't know what that is in real people money but um handcrafted in where he said Absolutely worth it if you want something very special and unique uh, from the man with the coolest name on the planet. So we're, we're gonna uh, put links below to Duncan and his craft. And you now go do something with your life that's not watching us talk about guitars. After if you've watched, after if you've, after, can I get a coffee? After if you've, after you watched, what, Adam? What are we watching at the end? Animals! Animals at the end, yes. It's times like these That show us what we're all about And will you please Be strong enough to sit this out I'll see you on the other side this kiss is a rainbow's for everyone The time will come but not tonight It's why we have to stay six feet apart We're gonna come together We hold all the cards We only have to play them right So do your part Everything will be alright It might be hard